My name is Julia, and if you don't remember me, I don't blame you. I haven't been here for a while. I haven't stopped knitting. I haven't stopped crocheting. But a lot has happened since last time we met. Not only have I moved house, I moved country. I'm telling that because I'm looking for an excuse. Does it explain my long absence? Mm, maybe a little. Even though I have been living in a new country for already more than a year, I'm still getting used to it. I'm learning the language, which is rough. I'm already trying to use the language, which is even more rough. But I think I'm getting there. Knitting and crocheting have been uh, a big deal of support during these times. And I have actually made a lot of stuff. I have crafted a lot of things I wear and use all the time. I think I have loads too many things I knitted and crocheted. Knitted? Knit. Knit? Knitted. Not sure. Let me know. And I would really love to catch up. I would really love to share it with you. First of, I had a major Harry Potter phase this Christmas. So we have a Weasley sweater right here. There were weeks when I wore it every single day. Then I took a break and then I would wear it again for every single, every single day, for a week, for two weeks. It's a pattern by um, Rita Kaur, K-H-O-R, and uh, I have made some changes into it, but not because of the pattern, because of the yarn that I used. It was, I was like off the gauge, really off the gauge, and I didn't have a different yarn and I didn't have the energy to find a different yarn so I had to make it work that's why I made some changes but the pattern is very understandable it's very it's very detailed there are I can't remember five or six sizes and each size is very clear and you have all the uh, the numbers all the number of stitches number of um, decreases increases everything and in the end, you have the patterns for all the alphabet. So you choose your letter. My name is Julia, so I picked J. And all the other letters are there. So you just pick. And she has a, uh, an instruction how to embroider this letter either. I think I made mine like in an uh, in a, uh, intarsia technique. Yes, I did, because I have a thick yarn and the second layer of yarn would be too much here. You can do it as she recommends, um, embroider it. It's like double stitching, forgot what it's called. I think it's double stitching uh, with another color. So I'm Gryffindor, it's all official. I took a test online, so, and you know what? I want to make uh, at least four of them of each house and I want to make one for every member of my family and I wish I do it in different yarns, in different gauges, in different colors. Maybe even I'm watching, I was re-watching the films and they are um, like Ron and Harry have them not in the colors of uh, their houses, their house, they have the same house, but just, you know, brown and beige, something like that. I think I want that too. Okay, and I made myself a Gryffindor scarf. To be honest, I can't remember if I made it before or after the sweater. I think I made it before but probably I started wearing it uh, like together. Maybe not. I, I, mm, I'm not sure. But they are both gorgeous. This is even softer than the sweater. And I've been feeling very Christmassy this year. And during this time, you know, it's perfect. Okay, this is my Harry Potter 
portion of the video. The scarf has no pattern. I just made it well, like uh, one by one rib and stripes. And the, the Weasley sweater, again, it's by Rita Kaur, K-H-O-R. She's on Ravelry and she has her own website and all the social media. I follow her on TikTok. That's how I found out about this sweater. And she, by the way, makes them... You can order the sweater. If you don't want to knit it, you can buy the whole sweater. She makes them in different colors. So moving on, the next thing is the next, you know, the next phase is Halloween phase. So before I fell into uh, Harry Potter hole, I was all about Halloween. And this is actually my design. It's called uh, the Spooky Season Scarf. And I designed it after moving. And I'm pretty proud of it. You know, it's not into your face Halloween-y, but it's obvious that it's like no other holiday. It can't be anything else than Halloween, right? The colors, the combination of colors, and uh, this spookiness because it's it has these different sections. Uh, you know, I've been wearing quite a lot of it in autumn. Well, starting in October, I guess, when I published it, and the whole November until until the 1st of December. You know, the 1st of October, in my uh, head, is officially uh, the start of the Halloween season. When you decorate everything, when you uh, buy Halloween stuff, when you start eating sweets, and um, when you are wearing pumpkin stuff. So from the 1st of October till the 1st of December. The 1st of December is officially uh, a Christmas uh, rush, a Christmas uh, themed season. So I guess I can wear these this stuff uh, till the end of November. Then it's Christmas time. So this is Halloween uh, pattern and I know a lot of people are preparing for Halloween already. A lot of people, to be honest, have been preparing for it for <laughs> since last October. So if you are one of those people, uh, again, spooky season uh, scarf on Ravelry. I'll leave the link in the description, of course. The next pattern is probably not available in uh, English, so I'll just show it to you. If you find one in English, I definitely recommend. I've it's always um, mm, I used it a lot. I live in a cold climate with a real winter, with snow, with winds, with a cold winter, and this has been a um, a go-to thing to wear. It's a double layered hood. I didn't choose the yarn very nicely because it's not too soft. Still, I wore a lot of it, like also every day, uh, every day until it got, you know, warmer. And uh, if it's extremely cold, you can also wear a scarf. There were days like that. But if it's meh, you can wear a hat. I always wore a hat under it. And then this, and your neck is protected. So you might not need a scarf. But if you are cold all the time, as I am, you might like add everything you might layer. I'll definitely make another one and uh, with a softer yarn. I'll leave a link to this pattern. It's by Margarita Terekova. But again, it's not available in English. But maybe, maybe she'll translate it one day. I don't know. Next 
uh, socks. Well, I have a rule. Uh, it's not a rule, that's just what I do. Whenever I'm between the projects or I don't want to, to like work on the project I'm working on right now, I make socks. They are small, it's easy to take them, to bring them whenever I'm going. So I always knit socks when I don't know what else to do. And uh, note that I gave away several pairs and I'm not showing you several pairs because they are uh, not in a showable condition right now. They, are, they need to be washed. But yeah, it was quite a long winter. I didn't use any patterns for any of the socks. Uh, I usually go for a, a very standard heel. I don't know what it's called. It's a, a usual heel. I like um, not too high, not too low cuff. For example, these uh, are made from um, all the scraps I have. So you see, I tried to somehow match it, but they are not exactly the same. And that's what I love about them. The heel is from this gorgeous yellow sock. My favorite color is yellow. So one day, you know, I just got up, went to the shop and bought myself a bowl of yellow sock yarn and made these two beautiful chickens. Uh, they are a little bit too small for me. Maybe I'll present it to my knees and then make myself another pair. We'll see. They are, they are not, not as much uh, small as um, narrow, too narrow for me. So I, they fit perfectly when I wear them um, with nothing underneath, when I'm barefoot, when I wear them barefoot. And I rarely need this kind of situation. So probably um, I'll present. I just remember that my knees is now a size uh, bigger than me. So that's not going to happen. We'll see. Another pair is also for me. You know what I do uh, lately? I, I've been making myself socks, a pair of socks, something else, knitting uh, something for myself. Wrap it. I wrap it uh, like a month, two months before Christmas. So I forget what it looks like, I forget what I did, what I made. And then I put this wrapped present under the tree. And this is a present for me, from me to me for Christmas. I, I'm thinking this year I also, I made a present to myself. I bought a present to myself uh, for my birthday and it felt quite nice too. So maybe there's a new tradition starting. Again, I'm not matching the stripes. The heel is your basic heel. And um, I love them. I love, I, I'm not a fan uh, when the socks are like red and green, one red and one green. But I am a fan for myself. I am a fan when they are a little mismatched. I love different socks on other people though. These are, I made these red, uh, red and white socks uh, for my relatives. This is the yarn left. So I bought another bowl of yarn, this four or five shades of gray and matched them with, mixed them with this red Red cuff, red heel, red toe. It's fun. I made a TikTok video for these um, socks. And when I took these, this video, I put them on snow. And there was uh, the new white snow, layer of snow these, uh, on this day. And they were, they were on the snow and this bright uh, details and this grays on the white snow, it looked amazing. 
I'm kind of, when I remember that, I kind of want some winter. But not yet. Let's enjoy the summer. The next pair is... You know what? I saw them and I remember that I have one more pair. It's just not blocked yet. And I remembered it because it's kind of a, a pride flag colored, but not quite. But I have a real rainbow. Give me a minute, I'll get them. Look at them. They are, they look like a celebration. And I made them in June. I feel like these two pairs are like, I can probably give them as a present to a couple. They're nice. Again, not uh, exactly matched, but you know, the, the stripes are all the same, the same length, uh, the same, uh, I used the same yarn. And uh, here I actually made them using uh, pulling yarn from different ends. You see, yellow, green, blue, so on. And here, yellow, green, blue, and so on, up. So there, there are different um, directions. I love just looking at them. Nice. Okay, and the last pair, it was the first it was the first, actually, not only sock, it was the first item I made when I moved to a new country. I, in my head, I call them uh, Luna Lovegood socks because they are, their colors are kind of a little crazy, a little, they re the, the um, placing of the stripes and different color of stripes remind me of, of their, um, you know, boho used secondhand um, patches uh, on their clothes, something like that. I love them. They are a little bit thicker than a usual uh, sock yarn, and I wear them at home when it's cold in winter. Okay, I think we are done with the knitting part. All the other things I have are crocheted. First of all, this popular design on Pinterest. I just couldn't. I saw it and I, I knew I had to have it. Look at that. That's a, that's a cat's bottom. That's a cat's bottom that you can place your mug onto. How cute is that? I, uh, I, uh, duh. No pattern. Again, I just made a, uh, eight single crochets into the ring. And then uh, twice as much double crochets. Then the next row, one single, cro one double crochet, two double crochets in the same, into the same double crochet. And then next is two double crochets, two double crochets into the same stitch, and so on. And I make it like four, one, two, three rows, one, uh, four rows, one, two, three, four rows. Single crocheted um, feet, paws, and single crocheted tail. All the other ones are very used right now, especially this black one. The white cat, another kind of brown cat. This one is new, that's why it's the best looking uh, cat's bottom in my collection. Another one of my own designs a tarot card deck holder. It's just a sack where I keep my tarot card um, deck. I'm still not sure if I like to keep them uh, just like that, a deck in the sack. I think this is the idea. It's more more useful, more convenient this way. But I, I still haven't thrown away the box. By the way, it's a very cute deck. Puppy Tarot. I have been using it for the last maybe a month. It makes it easier to use, uh, to use the deck. You know, I'm one of those people who remembers, oh, I have a tarot deck. 
starts using it every day for two or three days and then forgets it for, I don't know, for a month. So when they are in this sack, when they are somewhere on my desk, it's easier to just grab them and pick one. It's also um, good to take them somewhere because they are not um, being exposed to your keys and telephones and whatever is in your um, backpack, in my case, or a bag or a purse. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with the way I'm using tarot cards. I always forget about them. <laughs> but the bag, the holder is very nice. And uh, if you want to make uh, one of them, there are three options. The pattern gives you three bags, three options of uh, a tarot holder. So it's buy one, get three kind of thing. The last portion of... Uh, of my crafting is very light summer crochet. I don't know about you, but for me, crochet is more of a summer craft and knitting is more of a winter craft. And I got into kind of serious, more um, less childish crochet when my aunt presented me with this German magazine. The whole magazine of doilies. And now when I found it again, I understood that I've made maybe half, maybe even more than a half of them. Because, you know, I was 11 probably and all I had was this magazine. And maybe enough, maybe I had two magazines and one was... And this was nice. So I used it all the time. And... Uh, now I'm into doilies again, so I chose another one. This is the one I'm making. And it's, in, it's a work in progress. It's, I keep it in this cute bag with a cat, with a ball of yarn. So I'm using this very fine cotton thread. It's like a cotton cotton like I used when I was a child and uh, a two millimeter crochet hook my favorite um, clover one two millimeter and I've made uh, I've made quite a lot of progress actually I'm sorry it's a little bit wrinkled but you see all the petals are done I probably have just mm, two or three sittings more to finish it. So I don't know why maybe it's my memories, but this makes me happy. Making it, even though I don't have a table to put it on and I don't know how I'm going, going to use it. Well, still, still I'm very happy with it. So nice. So cute, so cozy. It comforts me. And another doily. You can see a, a theme here, right? Another doily is also for Halloween. How cute is that? I'm sorry again, it's not blocked. I, I just finished it. How cute is that? It's the same yarn. It's just... Uh, it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. Yes, mercerized cotton. That's it. Nothing else. And it's a Halloween doily. The pattern is Boo! Exclamation point by Marsha Glasner. It's free on Ravelry. And it's a quite a fast crochet. And I think it depends. Uh, I have a very gra uh, dark gray table in my kitchen. So I thought a white ghost should be, uh, should look very uh, ghosty on it. If you have a white table, probably you will make a, a black doily, uh, right? Black ghosts look scary enough, I think, right? You can make it orange just because it's Halloween. You can make it like different pale shades of um, anything. Not white, but 
pale blue, pale uh, purple, I don't know, pale pink, because or maybe even pale uh, melange, pale variety of colors, so they change. It's very ghosty also, right? So they are quite easy and quite fun to make. I can imagine how it brightens up the place. Can you imagine having these ghosts and uh, a bowl of sweets on them? Especially if the sweets are also Halloween themed. They are not too scary, they are cute, they are cozy. Nice! I know I told you this was the last one, but I can't not share with you. After a very long time without sewing, I think I could sew again. And that's why I took all my old flannel shirts and turned them into a tote bag. Inside you can see my former denim dress. And now they are all known as my new beach bag. I put my towel, a book, a swimsuit here and I throw it on my bicycle. And when I made it, I understood that some of the t-shirts, some of the shirts, some of the short pieces were left. So I made a little bit of scrunchies. This is my dress again. I put labels on some of them just because I didn't want to waste them. Another shirt, another shirt with a label and amount of fingers. This is a dress. This is the previous dress. Dress again. This is another shirt with a label. And this is the last one. I think I need some friends to <laughs> present some of them because I honestly haven't got enough hair, first of all, and enough outfits to wear them all. And uh, I already have more prepared. I was just tired yesterday and couldn't make more. I was, it was evening already. So, this kind of has Christmas written all over it. So, maybe they will be my Christmas scrunchies and my Christmas presents to my friends. To me, first of all. I had uh, a business that, that was unsuccessful for a, for a while. A sewing business. And after, it, after we finished it, my partner and I. I couldn't make myself sew for a long, long time. And now I'm very happy because almost every Monday it's my kind of a free day. I, I sew something and it makes me happy. I sew because just because I spend, I want to spend this time sewing. It feels amazing, I must say. It feels amazing and I'm, I'm very happy that I didn't lose it. For a while I, I was thinking that I lost it forever. But as you can see... Okay, now that's definitely all. Well, that's not all all, but all I wanted to share today. Please let me know what have you been doing all this time. What have you been crocheting? What have you been knitting? What have you been sewing? Are there any other crafts you do? Maybe you weave, maybe you embroider, maybe you cross-stitch. By the way, if you cross-stitch, I will probably have some questions very soon because I have some projects coming. I will be very happy to read all your wonderful comments. Please check out all the patterns I mentioned. Remember that there is one free pattern among them all and that Halloween is not that far away. Thanks a lot. I hope to see you soon this time. That was too long, right? That's, that's not right. Okay, keep in touch. Bye!